Hello everyone, hope everyone's having a great week so far and a good weekend coming up. Uh, we have just about a week's worth of thrift store finds to go through. Been a little bit since I've done one of these videos. Let's get started with some odds and ends and then move into the DVD and VHS. First, these two statues from 1984, I believe. Yeah, 1984 of Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. They had a few of these celebrity statues from this line which was Avon images of Hollywood and a few of them were chipped and some were not worth picking up but if you can get the pair of Fred and Ginger that was worth grabbing. A few more odds and ends things that Amanda grabbed it was Bugs Bunny Pez and one of the Skylanders a Donkey Kong plush from the rescuers uh, this flag from King's Dominion in Virginia, Diamond Falls. Just some odds and end stuff that was worth picking up for next to nothing. And DVD we'll do next, and then VHS. Actually, a lot of VHS to go through. On DVD, we have Veggie Tales, uh, Esther, the girl who became queen. Shonen Jump, Death Note. The five disc set is the volume one box set. Sealed copy of The Nanny Season 2. A sealed copy of It Came From Outer Space. This edition actually has a whole lot of extra features, so it's cool to grab sealed. And from the Val Luton Horror Double Feature, some RKO movies with Boris Karloff, Isle of the Dead, and Bedlam. And I think Isle of the Dead just got a Warner Archive Blu-ray not too long ago. I think it was this year. And then a sealed copy of Mad Men Season 1. Not a whole lot on the DVD front, but a few things. And then a bunch of stacks of VHS. We have a lot of VHS in the house right now. Because uh, next year we're going to expand beyond eBay and Macari and Pengo and all that other stuff. And start something with Etsy. And it's going to be a combination of... Amanda's going to be starting a project using VHS covers on Etsy, and I'm going to be selling just like regular old standard VHS on there. So we have a lot between the two of us that we've been picking up. Some more Veggie Tales. And then we have Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin. Another Veggie Tales. Digimon Volume 1. Baseballs, the video, and this is in 80s print, which is always really cool. I always love to get the 80s releases on VHS rather than the 90s ones. In general, it's not always true, but in general, they tend to be a higher quality, like the actual physical tape. They always seem to be in better condition. Like if I find, you know, the white clamshell of like a Disney movie from the 90s, or I find an older 80s one. The older 80s one is almost always in better condition when I test play them and try it. You know, there's always more more tracking issues or more color fading and things like that with the 90s version. So it's always good to find an 80s copy. Uh, blame it on Rio, Michael Caine, Home Alone, Rugrats, The Santa Experience, and a few of these Disney sing-alongs. We have uh, sing-alongs, fun with music. The mini classics, The Wind and the Willows, and mini classics, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. The Velveteen Rabbit. A, in beautiful condition, like almost like new condition. Um, actually, yeah, the tape, the little sticker is actually still on the bottom. It's just the plastic was taken off, I didn't even realize that. Uh, but Sinbad, The Golden Voyage of Sinbad, the RCA Columbia Pictures release. So that is... Really cool find. Predator. Cheech and Chong. Things are tough all over. Not one of the better Cheech and Chong movies in my favorite. Uh, Cheech and Chong, you know, go, go bananas. Um, I've actually, I think I maybe have only seen this once. I really just barely, vaguely remember it. Uh, Die Hard. Mountain Family Robinson. This interesting edition of The Wizard of Oz, I'm going to have to look this up and see if this might replace one of my VHS copies, because I've never seen this cover before. I've never come across this cover. 
So I'm gonna check that out. That might be replacing one of my two VHS copies of The Wizard of Oz, because that's a cool cover. I like that. Uh, the Pink Panther. And this is cool. This one's actually for me. I picked one up for me. I try not to with the VHS, but occasionally I find some stuff that's really, really cool. Uh, this is a sealed box set, the Sexy Screen Sirens. Uh, it has Sophia Loren, Bridget Bardot, and Gina Lola Brigada. A three tape box set. They are all in there for Sophia Loren. We have two women. And we have Where the Hot Wind Blows. And then Bridget Bordeaux, we have Her Bridal Night. So this I actually grabbed for myself for the thrift store for just a couple of bucks. They charge about the same as like one VHS tape for all three sealed. So that was pretty cool. Next up we have a ton of book finds to go through, some stuff from a bunch of different places, like just about anything you can think of. Uh, Stephen King's It, with uh, looks like the cover from the, when the Tim Curry miniseries would have come out. The Glass Castle, Water for Elephants, everything but just kind of general fiction. It doesn't sell for much, but will sell through. Like Pango or things like that. And some more modern stuff, to something a little more cool. The illustrated Star Wars universe hardcover. That's pretty cool. Some Goosebumps. Getting harder and harder to come across. The original cover versions of Goosebumps. Wayside School. A small collection of Mandy. Mandy and the Ghost Bandits. Trunk of Secrets. Forbidden Attic. A whole bunch of those. Uh, they have like 25 cents a piece. So to get a nice little collection is good. Always, that's the type of thing that will only sell if you have a small stack, like individually. It's not worth your time. Uh, Teddy Ruxpin, The Airship. Uh, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. A couple more of those. Newbery Award winning kids' books. Some more. Um, Clifford and Mercer Mayer, Little Critters. Uh, this is interesting. This hardcover, Rainbow Bright. I can read books. We like to pick those up and hold on until we get a decent collection of a similar theme in the same like reading level. Like this is a reading level two, and we kind of wait till we have maybe ten of reading level twos and put those together. That kind of thing. Uh, really try and lot those up again. There's another thing that individually it's worthless, but you hold on until you have a nice little collection to sell. Some Janet Ivanovich, of course. Always just run into her all the time. And when you grab those books for you know 25 cents to 50 cents at most, then it's worth your time. Scary Stories uh, 3, More Tales to Chill Your Bones. The covers of these books are just such a, a part of going to the school library in the 90s. They were always there, the first few of those. Uh, this is interesting. The Asimov Chronicles, Volume 3. Uh, this is a weird cover. I don't know what this cover is, but it's Stephen King's The Shining. I've never seen this bizarre, horrendously yellow cover of that book, so that's interesting. Uh, Hulk. This is a novelization of the Ang Lee version of the Hulk. Uh, Ace Atkins and Kate Atkinson, Big Sky and The Shameless. And one hardcover, Forgotten Realms, Daughter of the Drow. That's pretty cool. I've seen this a few times in paperback. I've actually don't think I've ever seen a hardcover copy of this with the dust jacket in really nice shape, so that's pretty cool to find. And then a good little stack here of Terry Brooks. None of the ones that I'm familiar with are made of the same thing, so we'll see there. But decent little stack. Um, Terry Brooks, neither of us are really big Terry Brooks fans. I mostly have read the first few of the Shannara books uh, back when uh, one of my childhood best friend, his dad, did the cover art for a lot of the early Shannara books. So I read a bunch of those when we were in like, elementary school and like he was still doing the covers for those back in the, the uh, early 90s, that type of thing. That's all I've read of his. So, But uh, these were already really cheap from the thrift store and they happened to be having a 50% off day for books. So that was really nice. A lot of these books came from there and they were like 25 cents, 50 cents. So that was really good to grab. So that was what we grabbed this week 
from the thrift stores. Uh, not a decent selection, not as much as I was hoping, but still pretty good for the week out. Especially this time of year, things tend to really dry up for a little while at thrift stores. There's not a lot coming out, so it's still pretty good to find these. And the same thing with you know Christmas buying you know, online kind of starts to die off now too, because you're running into that window where there's not quite enough time between purchasing and making sure you get it before Christmas, unless you're paying for like priority mail or like you know, overnight shipping, that kind of thing. So for a lot of this kind of stuff, sales will kind of fizzle out here for a little while and thrift stores kind of dry up as well. So that's just kind of how it is right now. Uh, but yeah, so thank you for joining me for another thrift store video. Hope you guys have a great weekend coming up here and make sure you check out the collection videos I've been doing recently. Did a few more this past week because it's been going on. Uh, as far as video games, I always like trying to talk about that a little bit. I have been getting back into the uh, Yakuza series. I have played only the first two on the PS2 way back when and there's just so many in that series that it's, it always seemed daunting to get back into it but I had Yakuza 0 sitting there for like two years now I think for the PS4 and just never got around to playing it. Finally got into playing it and I am loving it. I started playing it this week. I'm absolutely loving it. Amanda thinks it's hilarious too. She's been watching me play a lot of it and it's so cheap and easy to get all seven, you know, one through six and zero of that part of the Yakuza franchise all on one system on the PS4 that I'm gonna get, I'm getting back into it and I'm gonna play them all. Uh, I really enjoy those games. I am gonna play them all because you were able to get them, you know, so cheap and it's nice that they're all in one system now because for a while it was like some on PS2, some on PS3. Some on you know, PS4, there was a, the port of the first two to the Wii U in Japan, that kind of thing, but all, all different systems. Now, with the remakes of 1 and 2, and the collections of the stuff that was on PS3, and you know, up through like 6 on the PS4, you get them all on PS4, the whole thing, and just play through them all. And since I'm starting over with the prequel, with Zero, which I'm loving, and I love the 80s vibe, I'm just going to start again with the remake of 1 after that, and 2, and go the whole way through. So that's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to obviously take months to go through, but definitely going to enjoy it.